Welcome to another quick Zero help video, this time on using tracking categories in Zero. Tracking categories enable you to report and drill down in detail in your accounts, particularly in your profit and loss. And so you can use categories to report on the profit per client, particularly working on bigger jobs, say 10 a year, or profit per visit division, or profit profit or sales per location, or sales by agent or salesperson. And you can define tracking categories at any level you want. As a general rule, I'd be looking at tracking categories that would continue over a number of years or months in your business. So let's set about setting up your tracking categories. So we go to settings, general settings, tracking, and we add tracking category. And this time we're going to create one called division. And we're going to have retail, wholesale, and export. We just click save. And so we've because we're using the demo company, there's already one set up there called region, and we've got this new one called division. So tracking categories apply to transactions, sales, purchases, payroll, bank transactions, rather than to accounts or contacts. And this means you need to, to use tracking, you need to attach a tracking code to each relevant transaction. And for this reason, I wouldn't have too many tracking categories because it makes the process of entering transactions just that little bit more time consuming. And you can automate part of the tracking of entering tracking codes by using rules. So let's give you an example about how we use the tracking categories. So let's set up an, a sale. We're going to create a new sale. And in this case, we're, we're selling oh, these golf balls. And we've got region here, so we can select a region, it might be this is one that was already set up. And we've got the division here, so we could set up this has been retail. And so we have to set it up on each each line item along the way. And we can also use it in respect of our bank transactions as well. So if we go to dashboard and reconcile. And we can see this amount here from Smart Agency. And so in this one, we can establish which division it happens to be in. So we can quickly attach those. And so you can see why we don't want to have too many details in there in relation to too many tracking codes. And we can also use it in relation to expense claims as well. So we add a receipt. And we can, we can look at the tracking codes there. And of course, we can also use it on purchases using the same principles. So the next step is to how do we report on tracking code? So we go to reports and we'll go to profit and loss. And we can see here we can compare divisions. And so it'll give us, in this case, we've got no one to sign. Regions may have something more in it. And so in this case, we can see that we've got each of the, the regions set up and we've got an unassigned for items. And if you had to go back and look at those, you could probably go in and just amend those to include something in the past that needs to be included as part of your tracking categories. Don't forget, you can download the full PDF system for this, so you can pass it on to your bookkeeper or whoever else in your, in your business who needs to be understanding this on a step-by-step -step basis.